stand by. We're underway, thanks to Joey Carberry and Munster, playing from left to right. Right from the word go. Golden opportunity here. Scannell floats it up, and it's well taken by Amani. Lovely chance for his O'Donoghue on the rampage. Stop three shorts. Klein on the rumble now. Munster bearing down. Advantage offside. To lose offside. Here they come. Held up in the tackle, driven over the line. Luke Pierce. Can't get any. Had that pressure, they just they continue to build on it, looking after that ball. We know the threat that Toulouse have over the ball. Yes, just listen to the roar. No Coombs, no Clute. But today, Alex Candelan with Munster's first try. And Joey Carberry calmly slotting two more. I was wondering whether Kevin to the Aviva would be a bit of a, a little bit of a downer. Uh, how naive was I? The atmosphere here is, is so good. I really feel that Munster have, re have really fed off that. And you know, we hear the cliche 16th man. It, it's paid dividends so far this first 10 minutes. No doubt about it. Mayafu on the rumble this time for Toulouse. Ramos all oh, slicing through the middle. They go. Brilliant run this from Fuisak. Brought down by Haley. Toulouse now looking for a quick response. Tamak shut down. Masha on the shoulder. Onside, Monster. Dupont into position, but it's Mayafu. He's very well held by Dear Lende. There for Dupont. To six offside. And Tamak can't hold it. Monster straight offside. Here goes and Tamak. He's over. A champion response. Just moments after the Candelan try. Roman Tamak is touched down and tempers just boiling over a little. No, there's no arguments there. Don't need to look at that again. That's a definite try. My grounding's good. I just want to go back. Hang on. Yeah, of course. So timing's off, Paul, please. Um, Sure, the, the grass lines give it away, mate. To me, the ball... It's back from the hand, then exactly. he goes forward off the ground, so all good. So, so it's no knock-on, it's a try. Munster coaches heading off for... Bang! ...different venues next season. Graham Rowntree, of course, assuming overall control as Toulouse look to put the squeeze on here. Munster are under a huge amount of pressure. They've collapsed, they've given up the penalty, and here come the champions. Aki and Tamak, wide from Ramos, Lebel on the outside. Clinical. Forward power. And then that rapier finish out wide. They've got it all, they've got threats all over the park, but no question, the foundation stone, that big, strong scrum giving them a tap on the back this scrum was just brutally powerful that ball gets to the back and you can see how all eight are working forwards because they do that all the monster line just come in look how narrow that back line is now because they're so concerned about that short carry off a dominant scrum then it's good hand to get out to the wide channel but the damage was done up front and that's probably the fourth scrum in a row now where Toulouse have been dominant and it just shows how a good scrum can give such a good platform for a back line to get the space Matisse Lebel. What an important line out this is with two and a half minutes to the half time interval. Scannell finds his man. In five. And Murray breaks. And here's Dialande, South Africa's World Cup winner, just five metres away. Driven on now by Kendellan. Already one try to his name. Murray keeps it short this time. Toulouse. Streaming every which way to scramble into possession. Oh. Taken on by Wichely, Munster that close. Barrow oh. waits, they've got an advantage here. Carberry sends it wide, it'll be a walk-in for Earls. A critical score at a critical time. And once again, it's the winger they simply call in Limerick, the man. That's what you want to see. And Toulouse will probably be kicking themselves at Dupont. Quick 22 a while ago with six minutes. Measured it beautifully. 
Well, they've had to absorb an awful lot. Find a way to, to bottle the momentum that they just gained because they haven't backed it on the scoreboard. And Carberry has to block those kicks out of his mind as well as he sends this one up. Taken out a little bit late. Brilliantly claimed, though, by Zebo. Murray for Scannell. Carberry. Farrell. Lovely outside arc. Brilliant break. Men inside, men outside. Here's Haley. Haley over. And grounding the ball. Scything break from Chris Farrell. And the monster fullback. Making sure that this time, this time the scoreboard does take over. Outstanding from Farrell. He identified that mismatch, took him on the outside. And beautiful support line from Mike Haley. But just have a look at this, the bravery to play, taking on Toulouse in those outside channels. Keeping ball in hand. He thought he'd butcher the chance, but Haley's great power, great strength gets over. Brilliant finish. Farrell finds himself for the one-on-one -on -one with. Oh, has to be careful. What's going on here? Adventure everywhere. Someone taken out off the ball, surely. And the ball thumped clear and into touch. I'm going to show you. Yeah. yeah. Primary landing point yes. is the back, and then it's a whiplash action of the neck. Here we so, go. So the force of the tackle makes this look worse, you say, is it? There you go, Luke. Yep. That might just save Rory right. Arnold from so you've red, got, but it just, is a... It's just on the way down, shoulders first, and you've got a whiplash of the neck. Yep. OK, so between us, then, we decided this is a yellow card. Yeah, and it's just a very hard hit. Yeah, OK, so we all in agreement with that. So we're on yellow. Uh, Antoine and Peter, please. Um, I think we all accept that that doesn't look good, but it's a very forceful hit as well. Yep. To us, he lands on his back, and then the head hits the floor, so it's a yellow card, not a red. Rory Arnold to the bin, and the colour of that card will almost certainly be debated long into the night. This scrum looks to have the advantage now as Dale Ende moves forward, and there's a bit of a mix up in the midfield. Uh, man taken out off the ball, Farrell ending up on his backside. Cool eyes. This time, Munster opening up a 10 points advantage on the champion. Mabaka picks out Gillon at the tail, and now he's um, oh, leaving a beautiful ball hanging. What a step that is from Lebel. That was all class. Champions bursting into life. Sensational try. Well, somebody hasn't done their job at the tail of a line out. Oh, yeah, you've got Tailgunner who takes the first man, he's on nine. I think it's oh, somebody at the back of that line out needs to move off. That somebody who's in the line out has to kick off if they're not involved in the lift. And that's where the massive space opens up. Normally, if there's a lifting pod, it's the back lifter who has to push off and defend that first. Straightforward for Thomas Ramos. And suddenly it is game on all over again. Three points the difference with six minutes remaining and three points separating these two sides. It's a Toulouse scrum penalty now. Punches it through. Scores level in Dublin. Not in the Heineken so Champions Cup. Not in the knockout stages. Not in front of a big, raucous, monster crowd. Here goes Kandelan. Toulouse scrapping for every bit of possession, but they're off their feet. They've conceded the penalty. 56 metres out. He's given a right old thump. He's given it a big thump, but it's wide. It's wide, and we're headed for extra time. 24 points all. It wasn't to be for Ben Healy. And in 80 minutes, we just cannot separate these two giants of the European game. Full time at the Aviva Stadium. Into the 22, Germain. Back it comes, Ramos with the drop goal. It's a wobbler, and it's wide. 
waiting for the drop goal opportunity. It's still a long way out for him. He's waiting for it. It's there now, under pressure. Healy snaps it wide. A place-kicking competition will decide this quarter-final. Three separate drop goal attempts in added time. None of them successful. Full time after added time. Dead straight. Through the dead silence. Never in doubt. Not this time. Healy misses. Nails it. Toulouse lead by two to one. Excellent from Carberry. The right side, so to speak, for the right-footed kicker. He's drilled it through. Oh, that's very good as well from Roman and Tamak. Arms to the skies. Toulouse lead 3-2. Oh, that's gone wide. That's set off wide, continued wide, and Munster now are right up again. Just never wavered from Antoine Dupont. He's given that a great whack, but it's wide! And Toulouse! will celebrate shootout glory. The champions march on to the semi-finals. Ben Healy crestfallen. Munster crestfallen. They gave it everything they had. And then some. Antoine Dupont and his Toulouse side head into the last four. Two steps from a successful title defence. And Munster are out in the cruelest of fashions. Toulouse winning 4-2 on penalties after a 24-all draw after extra time.